Hello, welcome back. So this time we have, well, a very interesting guy, and I got this idea purely because fascism was one of the ideologies. And once again, you cannot see my cursor. So yeah, this is Mr. Adolf Hitler. You might know him. I've made him from West Virginia. He used to be a soldier, and he is obviously a fascist. He's going to be running on the Republican ticket. Because every leftist will tell you that every Republican is basically Hitler anyway, so I thought, why not just put Hitler in there? And he's actually going to run against my created character, SJW Kang. Because <laughs> it's going to be pretty funny. Democratic Socialism versus Fascism. Let's see how the country goes. Hitler versus Kang. Wow. Blue states, there's really not many at the start, but that's fine. So yeah, we start in West Virginia, obviously, not a very rich state, so we're probably not going to spend much time sitting much up there. Really interested fascism, so like nationalism, stronger federal government, socialized capitalism. It's the concept of a national government working with private industry to correct products and services produced. Stronger federal government. Nationalism. I feel like we're going to have to go down to nationalism. Alright, well first off, I want to flip New York. I don't know why, but I feel like we need New York. Support for Israel? Oh, that's something my candidate just can't do. He, he cannot like Israel, that's just not his thing. Good jobs though, I think would be his thing. Good jobs. State unions, I mean, I would oppose it, but it really doesn't give me much. State unions we could go for? Actually, no, he would oppose unions. Gives him Republican, I guess. We're also just going to hire, just right off the bat. Get ourselves a spin doctor. To spin whatever we do in New York to be positive. Go over here. Nationalism. Stronger law enforcement. A strong military. I think law enforcement will be next. I can't steal his, can I? For your opponent, they can travel this state to get ideology points. Okay. So I can't steal it then. That's, that's what I wanted to know. Let's do a quick speech here in Nebraska. Nationalism. I support nationalism. Do you, Nebraskans? Texas. Let's just stranglehold our support here. Unpopular donor. You've run out of money, but the donors step forward to bail out your campaign. Yeah, that's a bit of a problem. I've run out of money again. <laughs> let's do some fundraising. And with those funds, let's upgrade this and then do another fundraiser. Hopefully that might fix our campaign finances. Because it's a little bit of a problem right now. Let's upgrade that. Do another campaign. And another one. And you know what? Another one. Leave me with 604. Then we'll flip over to Florida. And we'll get our... Oh, we can't afford one. And say we'll get ourselves something, but we can't. Do a quick nationalism speech. In fact, we'll do two speeches on nationalism. Opponent opposes nationalism. Then we'll go get our endorsement points. Well, we only get one, but that's enough. It's enough to have stronger law enforcement. Mandatory gun buyback, okay. We're a very interesting... We're a very, very interesting um, Republican here, aren't we? New York. We're not quite winning in New York. Let's go over to California and attempt it. I highly doubt we'll get much here. Get our endorsements first. Mandatory gun buyback. America for Americans. Hell yes. 
do a quick speech in Colorado. Man, nobody likes that. Opponent supports it. I'm not going to say I support it, I'm going to say he supports it. Because screw him. Um, let's go Ohio, because we do need Ohio. If we're going to have any shot at winning here. Nobody likes it. National America for Americans, I support. So do some Ohioans, apparently. Nationalism. Actually, America for Americans. You know what? They love that. Let's do it again. Then we will. America for Americans. Let's run a campaign. Then we're going to fly up to New York. Oh, we don't have the stamina. Okay. Okay, well, we'll fly here and get some more endorsement points. Oh, look at all those points. Strong military. Preemptive war is next. Oh my god. This is brutal. Um, well, let's go to New York. Build ourselves a base of operations here. Upgrade it to a quick fundraiser. And another one. Damn it! I was really hoping I'd have one left to go get this, but I can't. Shit. You've been imported onto the later show, sure. How important is the president to be a role model? Like, could we leave could we safely leave you in a lone room with a child or a pie in the window still? America wants a strong leader. If you were strong, unethical sort. It's one way to see it, if you were strong, unethical sort. Sounds like me. <laughs> what went right and what went wrong with Obamacare? Is a mole on my leg or cancer? That's what I'd like you... And what would you do to make healthcare better? Obamacare was sabotage. Ignorance of the mole question, I see. Smart. It was going to get personal. How did they sabotage Obamacare? They opposed it every step of the way. Wow, people didn't like that very much, weirdly. It was based very discouraged by my interview. <laughs> okay. We'll do another quick speech in New York for... Wow, even in New York they don't like it. How about a strong military? Everyone loves a strong military. We'll also run an ad campaign for opponent supports a mandatory gun buyback, which, you know, is my policy, but screw him. I support nationalism. I'm also pretty much broke now. Let's go get them endorsement points. Four points is not enough to... Okay. Um, all right. God, I need money. I need to fly back to New York. We need more money. 270,000. May as well get more. Thank you. I, America for Americans, I will stop the coronavirus. And then I'll run an ad, my opponent opposes nationalism. I don't know why I'm campaigning in New York, it's just not going well. Let's go see what this event is. Celebrity endorsement? Sure, we'll take advantage of that. Indiana. What does Indiana care about? Mandatory gun buyback. Is that popular anywhere? They love nationalism, but have sort of maxed that out. Traditional values. I mean, yeah, that's something we can campaign on. Traditional values. That'll help me out. Florida, we're currently losing, so I should probably go work on that a bit. 
Pennsylvania we're losing. Let's go Virginia. Do a quick speech in, Pen in Virginia for only Democrats like that. I'm finding it funny that he actually would have been more suited to being a Democrat with what he stands for. Opponent supports this. I'll also put... Oh, I don't have the money for it. Alright. I'll fly down to Florida then. Am I really going to lose a presidential race to Kang? Funding for NASA for sure. Nationalism. That gets Florida on side. Let's go and get that event, whatever it is. Hopefully it's a donation. Nope, I was blackmailed. Crap. Um, wow, we didn't even raise enough funds to get ourselves out of debt. Tweet, tweet, revenge. Lowered my credibility. Lots of endorsement points, preemptive war, and then United North America. Oh my god, we actually, we're going to advocate for the annexation of Canada and Mexico into a single government. My god, what kind of campaign am I running? Uh, I mean, we support fracking, why not? Don't see how that could get me in any trouble. South Dakota is pretty close as well. Maybe I'll fly there. He just got Medicare for all. We'll do a quick speech on Dakota Pipeline. We should probably go into the south a little bit. Let's go down to Tennessee. Do a speech on preemptive war. Republicans love that. America for Americans, nationalism. None of that's really resonating, is it? Preemptive war. I mean, sure, we'll do it anyway. Gets our Republican support up. Just fly around to a few states. Through life, I mean, that's definitely that would be a Hitler stance. The evening wasted, great. But we get those endorsement, that endorsement point. God damn it! Well, let's go down to Texas. Ah, oh, shit, that cost me money. I shouldn't have done that. Let's raise some money. It's New York. Oh, we're not far off New York. I should probably do a bit of campaigning in Pennsylvania, honestly. Do a speech on a strong military. I can't afford to hire anyone. New York. Quickly grab that. Endorsement points. A United American Union. That seems to be uniting a lot more people against me than for me. Pennsylvania, I don't feel like I made any difference there. I feel like I'm going to lose this campaign really badly. Opponent opposes, that'll just make them stronger. America for Americans, I support. I mean, I support fracking, sure. I don't see myself winning a lot of these states. This is getting scary. Can I flip any of these? Let's go for Alaska, I guess. It's not that important, but... Fossil fuel industry, I support it. Thank you, Alaska, for voting for me. What's this event? Please give me money. Ah, oh, an evening wasted. I hate these old people who keep wasting my evenings. No, I don't want to go on the good day show. More endorsement points. Five, I need twelve. Let's go, Oklahoma. We, we can win this state back, surely. Preemptive war. Republicans love it. 
into Kansas. They just took diversity. Does that give me no nine points? I need twelve. Nash, stronger law enforcement actually. Stamina and ideology. Stronger federal government. Then we could actually go for the universal healthcare angle. State run media, yes. Preemptive war. All hail the American empire that I shall build if you elect me. Town hall. I mean, it's four. I need 12 still. We could maybe flip this state. We could try. United North America. No one likes it, is the problem. Nationalism? I mean, people like nationalism, just not very much. Could never flip California right now. Could perhaps get Oregon and some of them. But right now, I'm losing pretty terribly. Okay, we got a free political thing. Preemptive war. One point. Cool. Uh, I am literally losing the south to him right now. This is bad. This is really bad. I'm doing terribly. Oh god, I'm losing Florida again. Whoa. United North America. Why does nobody want this? Funding NASA? Yeah, we want to fund NASA. Now, will you fund me? Protect Social Security? Pennsylvania and New York. There's almost no chance of me getting either of those, is there? Probably be better off trying to get Ohio. I'm closer to that one. Hey, get my running mate. I mean, at this rate, we couldn't make ourselves look worse, could we? Let's, let's get a giant meteor. <laughs> there he is. He's helping. Medicare for all, I guess? Preemptive war? Let's run an ad campaign. I support preemptive war. Can't believe that's actually a thing. <sighs> Problem is, Ohio just doesn't really care about a lot of what I have to offer. <laughs> Nobody really does, which is a large part of my problem here. I mean, it raised my Republican support, but not much else. I don't see myself winning this at all. Nine points is not enough. Mandatory... Funding NASA is always popular. I'm just gonna keep myself above that little limit. And try and hang on to what I have in Montana at least. I support fracking. I support the logging industry. We'll fly over here. Support a strong military, of course. My opponent opposes. 
Let's build a quick little setup there. State-run media banning problematic speech. God, I feel like that's very... I suppose it is very fascist, eh? Why does no one want to unite North America? Come on, we could build an empire. Why would you not want that? I'm even losing the South. This is just so bad. Carlson show, sure, I could use some help. All Street Weasels managed to steer this country into recession and they got a bailout, whatever you think. Border with Mexico is an absolute chaos. Millions of illegals are already in the United States, more pouring all the time. Reinforced Border Patrol, I put the military on the border to stop it. People liked that. That helped. That helped my image a lot, actually. Save the bees! My opponent opposes saving the bees. We could get this event. Celebrity endorsement, hell yeah. Traditional <laughs> values. They're very important to me. My opponent hates traditional values. And I'm very broke. Unpopular donor. Eek. This might be a landslide loss. This is really bad. I didn't even want to fly there. I wanted to go to Arizona and try and do something here. Preemptive war. It helped a little, but not much. Four points here. Not enough. Abortion rights, I oppose. Put that South Carolina vote in. I'll just keep doing that one, I oppose. Medicare for all. Ah, it's not ideal. Give me some money. 30 grand, yeah, great. Cost me that much to fly to New York. Some more money. 25 grand. California start an ad campaign. My opponent opposes LGBT rights. Which totally won't work at all. Let's go get my town hall. Oh, damn endorsement points. Still not enough though. Kentucky's a close race. We could try and get some votes here. What do they care about that I have it maxed out though is the problem. Is nationalism tapped? Mandatory buyback, I guess? It didn't really help me much. Medicare for all is something I could do. I swear, everything I do is just hurting me more. Now, where's my... there. In Alabama. We got one point! Come on, I need more than one point. Back to Kentucky, where we get lots of points. Thirteen. Ban hate speech. Thought police. We can get actual thought police for fourteen. And I just lost even more states. I'm gonna go try and get the Dakotas. And I support the pipeline. I am once again supporting the pipeline. And once again, my opponent opposes the pipeline. Could use a little bit of money, 10 grand, at least now I'm not broke. And I feel like all those speeches did literally nothing. 
I'm even on the brink of losing the Mormons. Like, how can a Republican lose the Mormons? Okay, I've managed to keep the Mormons. Man, I need Florida. I can't afford to keep wasted time in Florida, but I also just can't afford to not spend time here either. Medicare for all. And money. And Florida somehow flipped even more towards the Democrats. Because weirdly, fascism seems to be a Democrat thing. Who would have thought? Okay, Ben Shapiro. Use of power. I was actually fired from one of your shows. We need to get rid of private health insurance. Very unpopular. But won't that lead to shortages of rationing and care? Many countries have it. Which means nothing when people say that. Many countries have this. Well, they're not here. They have it for different reasons. Different resources, different populations, different needs. Ah, yeah, this campaign is so over. It seems that Hitler is not as popular as we thought he might be in the 21st century. Oh wait, that's... that's Kang. Where, where the hell even am I? I'm in Florida. No, you will not take Texas from me. Border protections my opponent opposes. Fossil fuel industry. I will not lose my bank of Texas. <laughs> Although I feel like I very well might. Fossil fuels, which I've maxed out. No, I haven't actually. I can just keep supporting that. People are very happy that I support that. Is so that eight? I need fifteen. State unions, I oppose. Man, even Wyoming's becoming a battle state. This is how badly I'm doing. I support fracking. And I'll support it again. I support a united North America. Why do you not? I need a couple more points, and I don't think I'm going to get them unless there's one next time. Ah, oh, it's annoying. Yep, no endorsement points. Damn it. And I get blackmailed right at the end, of course. I don't even think it matters what I do. Let's just end this. I've lost so badly. He's going to win almost every state. This was probably the worst campaign I've ran so far. Uh, wow. That's the bluest south that I think I've ever seen. You know something's gone wrong when the Democrats win the south. And the north. Everything except West Virginia, which I had a home state advantage in. Hey, I won North Dakota! And that's all I'm gonna win, I think, except maybe Alaska, but I think I lost that too. Nah, I won Alaska. 65 to 473. Goodbye. It seems in the 21st century, he is just not as popular. I'm gonna have a look. Surely there must be some settings to, like, randomize what people like, because otherwise these weird ideologies just aren't gonna work. But anyway. Thank you for watching. It turns out in the 21st century that Hitler would not win the election.
So unlike what most Democrats like to tell you and lefties, fascism is not popular. Bye. Hey people, good to see that some of you made it to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed this content, there should be much more like it on my channel. Feel free to subscribe to see some more. Check out some of my links in the description. I stream on Twitch three, four days a week. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. I'll put some links for some other videos on the screen that you can enjoy now. See you all in the next one, I hope.